Far from Australia, on the other side of the world, there's a strange climate that attracts a particular type of person and produces a completely new way of seeing the world. A place of contrast and extremes and polarization. It's a place called the Arctic Circle, a collection of some of the most remote communities on planet Earth. Here, you find fishermen, seal hunters and extreme sport seekers alike. And occasionally, you'll also stumble upon a digital nomad, a remote worker, a long way from the welcoming environments of Bali or Thailand, perched up somewhere in a little cabin amongst deep snow and steep fjords. What brought them here, of all the places on Earth, and what are they seeking? Great question. I think that one of the most important things we can offer the next generation is this idea that they don't have to follow a conventional path. Your path to creativity, to success, to raising a family, whatever you define as, as you know, your goal, it doesn't have to come from just going to high school, going to college, getting a degree, sitting in front of a computer or an office. It can also look like seeing the world. The biggest companies in the world are going remote or taking some sort of hybrid model from Silicon Valley to businesses all throughout Europe and the West and beyond. Work has changed forever. As of 2022, 18% of workers in the United States are 100% remote, and 16% of companies worldwide are 100% remote. You need to be stretching, dreaming, visioning. Uh, if you're not doing that, then my belief is that you're shrinking and dying. There's no there's no opportunity in life to just sit on the fence. You're either having a crack or you're dying. We live in this age of Alexandria where all of the knowledge in the world is now contained within the palm of our hand. That unlike at other epochs throughout history where you needed to go off to the university or you needed to go off to the library in order to gain the knowledge that was required, now all we need to do is to go to this one place you pick up your smartphone and immediately you're in this portal through to a universe of knowledge that literally contains everything that has ever been learned by humanity. Now we're about thirty kilometers from the Arctic Circle and we're seeing people being digital nomads, which is huge. That is a big number in population size that would make up, I think, the world first biggest country. Now, I truly believe that the future of work will be all about creativity. And what is more inspiring creatively than immersing yourself in a new culture with new people and new ideas? It's an opportunity to look through a new lens, a lens that isn't often afforded by short-term travel. I've always said that, you know, the furthest journeys you ever take is the internal one, you know. Uh, it's, it's the one inside yourself to figure out who you are and, and what you want and what you care about. And I don't think everybody needs to travel to the ends of the earth or to the Arctic to find that. But I think for a select few of us where maybe you know what we're seeking for really truly is out there we we need to go we feel called to go i love the fact that these places ask more of you and by asking more of you they they give you more there is a place nothing compares to but we only know with a meaning so special a place i was meant for more than we know by the lighthouse on the hill we opened a door to a different world leaving everything behind just you and i open up your eyes